What's up you guys, it's your boy Trayvon. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, awesome and blessed day. But there's something, you know, really, really important, really beautiful, man, that, you know, that, that that's a fact, you know what I mean? And like, I feel like a lot of us, you know, like would really, would really, really benefit from hearing this. A lot of us need to hear this. And that is, man, if you're really trying to seek the most high, if you're trying to seek the creator, if you're trying to seek what God says about you, how God sees you, God's plan for your life, you know what I'm saying? God's blessings for your life, man. The most high, the most high story and involvement in your life. You're gonna have to let go. You know what I'm saying? Of what the world says about you. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to let go of your identity that's been given to you by society. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us may have a troubled past. A lot of us, you know what I'm saying, may have, you know, um, you know, like may 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 go through depression. You know, stress trauma x y and z a lot of a lot of us been through so much in life a lot of us are currently going through so much in life a lot of us have been made fun of and stereotyped by our friends our loved ones even people that we don't know you know what i'm saying a lot of us tie our identity to our insecurities a lot of us tie our identity to you know like the bad things that we say about ourselves and what the, and what the enemy says about us and what they have to say to you is that is not who you are you know what i'm saying you are not a thought you know, you are not you are not a person that 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 that's been slept on by so many people. You are not a loser. You are not a bum. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not you're not an N I G G R. You're not like you're not all these things that people say about you. You know what I'm saying? You're not you you're, you're not anybody till you get six figures. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? Like oh you're not less than you you like these like these things are not true. You know, like you have to let go. You have to let go of what the world says about you. You have to let go of the negative things that people say about you. You know what I'm saying? Because these things simply ain't true. You know, in order for you, if you really want to pursue what God truly has you, you're going to have to let go of your identity in the world. And what society says about you, what you say about yourself, what you think about yourself. You have to dead all of that to come follow the most high, you know. And once you follow the most high, He'll give you a new identity. You're not you're not less than from the hood and you're not rowdy, you're not loud. Like no, you are a person that has value, you have season, you have flavor. You know what I'm saying? You are important. You are you you are a young king, you are a young queen. You deserve respect. You deserve love, you deserve honor. That is what your identity is attached to. Something that no man could put a price tag on. Something, something that that no that no person that not, not no person, you know what I'm saying, could could even imagine, because you know why? Because you're gonna let the most high heavenly Father write your story, you know. A lot of us think that we're less than. A lot of us think that we're not equipped. To, a lot of us think that what we're, we're we're poor and we're scrubs and we're nobodies and we're less of a man and we're less of a woman. And these things are just simply not true. Those are lies. These things tear you down. They don't build you up. We, we, we as human beings, one thing about us is we, we always change. We always change. That same person that called you X, Y, and Z saying, oh, look at this girl. She's a hot mess. She's not going to be nobody. Oh, look at this dude. All he does is cause trouble. He ain't going to equate to nothing in life. Wait, wait, wait five, ten years down the line when the, when the most tides writing your story. People change. People change for the better. The same people that counted you out. Well, the same people the Most High will, will use to be a witness to what he's doing in your life. Sometimes we have to go through these things in life. Sometimes we have to experience these things. You know what I'm saying? Lack of love, verbal abuse, insecurities, trauma, to, to see what true unconditional love is. Because love is, the, is literally the, the, the problem, like the cure, the cure to the problem. Love is literally like the remedy for anything under the sun that everyone's going through. Any problem, any issue, any pain, any illness, the truth sets you free. The Most High God is love, and His Word is truth. And his truth sets us free. And it's way deeper than what you think it is. Mental. It's, it's mental, psychological, spiritual. And way beyond the surface. Way beyond. You know what I'm saying? This is why it's so essential to keep focus on what God says and who on, on the Most High himself. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. People change and people come and go. Society change and society comes and goes. Trends don't stay over. Trends don't don't stay forever. It's an overnight thing. Things come and go. 
anything that we seek for in this life, a job, like a, a career, a degree, these things, these things do not last forever. Your goal, your purpose in life is perpetual. It's eternal. You are made for a way more of a greater purpose. Do not undervalue yourself. Do not believe the lies that the enemy uses people and, and, and tells you in your ear. Those are not true. You don't have to believe, think, or take into accountability anything that you believe about yourself. You think about yourself that anybody that, or anything that anybody says to you. You know? You don't have to because not, not everything that you tell yourself and not everything that anyone tells you is true. It's not. You, but you know what is true? Do you know what is sure? You know what's 100% certified? What God says about you. God is not, is not biased. God is not opinionated. God is not partial. God loves you with all of his heart, mind, and strength. You know what I'm saying? God has a plan for you. God took time to diligently create you. You are unique. Great, small, rich, poor. You know? A person that has a past and a person that doesn't have a past, trust and believe. You are made to achieve. Do not let life cripple you. Like this life is temporary. We we don't live forever. We like flowers. We we here one day we bloom when the wind blow our petals away and we gone the next. You know what I'm saying? Trust and believe that you can achieve. Life life is a classroom. Life is a test. It is a test. You know? It it, it won't it, you you don't don't allow don't make it break you. Allow it to make you. There are some very sweet, kind-hearted, resilient people out here that life did grind me. But you know why? They kept that attitude of gratitude. All praise be to the Most High because the Most High is working on our hearts every day. Every day is something we think for. Every day we have opportunity. You know what I'm saying? But we must realize that through the Most High. All praises and glory be to the Most High Father, man. Trust me, He is so good. He is so gracious. Be patient with His process in your life. Trust and believe that you are made to achieve. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, and you have to believe. Because without faith, we can't do anything or achieve anything in this world. And we need faith for to, to please and to um, achieve with the Most High. It's your boy Trey. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to pray. And remember the love and remember the truth. Be easy.